Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a review for gel pen slimes. You already know the last review that I did for her was so bomb that I had to order from her again. Um, this time around I ordered three 8 ounce slimes and she sent me one for free along with a bunch of extra goodies. So let's just get right on in with this review. So starting off with the packaging, she sent it in a box and they all did come bubble wrapped. I just unwrapped it for this video so that it would just be quicker. Um, like I said, I ordered three 8 ounce slimes. She sent one for free along with this adorable resin keychain that she made herself. Like, I immediately fell in love with it and I really hope she stocks these soon because I need to buy a whole bunch. Um, she also sent me these really cute erasers which brought me back to like 6th grade. They're like the food ones that you can take apart. So I thought that was really generous. She also sent me a little baggie of these really cute Cloud Fimo along with her business card, an extra little gummy resin charm, and some borax. So the first slime that we are starting off with is called Tamagotchi Gloss. Unfortunately, I did notice quite a few black hairs in the slime. Um, I'm pretty sure they're just animal hairs. But it's still kind of gross to me. It's not that big of a deal because I understand it happens. I have a cat and it's really hard to not get hair into slime. Um, so I would just suggest using a cleaner surface to make slime. Um, but as you saw, this slime came with an absolutely adorable Tamagotchi resin charm. I literally cried actual tears when opening this package because it was so cute and it definitely brought me back to my childhood. I think it's so unique that she makes these charms herself. I know I said that in the last review, but I'm still just shook, you guys. It was so cute. Um, this slime was so beyond thick and it was so creamy. Um, but it was still stretchy and, like, really easy to play with. Normally, super thick slimes are not easy to play with. Um, but this texture was just absolutely perfect. Um, it was this really cute baby pink color and it had a ton of glitter in it that definitely reminded me of the 90s. They were all, like, neon colored and there were some flowers and stuff in there. Absolutely adorable. Um, I'm not really sure what the scent of this was because I didn't look on the description when ordering, unfortunately. Um, but to me, it smells like a really sweet, almost like cookie scent, um, but not super, super cookie-like. Um, it's really hard to explain. It's kind of like a fruity cookie. I don't know. It just it smelled really, really good. And of course, it was a super light scent. So if you are really sensitive to scents, then I totally suggest this one. This one is getting a 9 out of 10 just because of the hairs that I found in it. But other than that, it was absolutely perfect and I totally suggest it. This next one is called Blue Coconut Lemonade, and it's this really gorgeous clear slime with all these adorable add-ins and glitter and, of course, her homemade resin charm. Low-key, I may have only bought this just for the resin charm, what can I say? It's just absolutely adorable, and I fell in love with it. Um, I was a little weary just because this was a clear slime, and you guys know already clear slimes just freaking hate me <laughs> but this one i had no problem with whatsoever like it was the thickest clear slime that i have ever touched and it was just the perfect texture it was almost like i don't know how to explain it like a tacky texture but it wasn't tacky to the point where it was just kind of annoying it like it was just an all-around absolutely perfect texture it came super clear and it had like these lemon femos and some um like opaque fishbowl beads and then these really cute 
white beads i'm assuming to look like little coconut chunks the glitter in it just added a perfect touch the slime was just so gorgeous um unfortunately like i said in the last review for the last slime um i didn't get to read the description on the scent when ordering which is totally my fault but to me this smells not necessarily like a lemonade um i can definitely smell the coconut in there um it almost smells kind of like a pina colada drink um but this one's also super lightly scented so if you're sensitive to scents then i absolutely suggest pretty much anything from her shop um it's not lightly scented to the point where you can't smell it um, but it definitely won't give you a headache. Overall, this slime was super good for bubble pops. And when stretched, it didn't rip at all, which still blows my mind because of how thick it is. The scent was super great. And of course, I fell in love with the resin charm. So definitely a 10 out of 10. And I absolutely suggest this one. This next one is a Halloween slime called It's Freaking Bats based on the iconic vine. Look at it. It's freaking bats. I love Halloween. And this one, of course, also came with a super cute resin charm. This one was in the shape of a bat. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, I am obsessed with her resin charms. And I honestly hope that she stocks just resin charms in the future because I will go ham. Um, but anyway, you guys already know what I'm about to say. I was weary about this clear slime because clear slimes stick to me. Um, but after playing with the last one, I kind of already knew that this one was going to be absolutely perfect. <coughs> and I definitely wasn't wrong. Um, it was the same texture along with super cute add-ins. Um, there were like star and heart glitters and gold glitter and gemstones. And overall, it definitely went with the theme of the vine along with the theme of Halloween. Um, it was like a super, super dark purple color, which I loved because it almost looked black in the beginning. And then the more you play with it, you guys will see it turns like a light purple. I thought that was super cool. Um, again, I didn't read the scent description for this because I was ordering so quickly. Um, but this one almost smells like a citrusy scent along with maybe like... I don't know how to explain this it you could definitely smell like a citrusy like fruit scent but at the same time you could smell like i don't know if you guys ever heard of um cashmere woods by bath and body it was like citrusy cashmere woods i know that sounds so weird but that's exactly what it smelled like to me and i fell in love with the smell this one was a little bit more scented than the other ones um, but if you have a scent, scent sensitivity, then I still suggest this because it wasn't overpowering. Um, overall, it was super stretchy and amazing for bubble pops, just like the other one. Definitely a 10 out of 10, and I absolutely recommend it. And I did forget to say, um, all of these slimes also came with top labels at Metro Logo on Instagram and super cute bottom labels with like a little drawing on it. So absolutely adorable and I am always blown away by the shop. And the last one is called Red Velvet Cake Pop, and I did get sent this one for free. I think she had a deal going on where, like, you buy three, you got one free. So she sent me Red Velvet Cake Pop. I was a little bit worried when I got this one just because I'm not a huge fan of 
anything that has like the hard plastic snow in it so like snow butters or like snow fizzes that kind of thing um just because it tends to hurt my hands but this one i didn't have any problem with it at all like i don't know if you guys can tell because i'm talking over the clip but like it was so insanely sizzly like i did not expect it to be this sizzly just because it did sit in my house for like two weeks before i finally got around to recording it and normally um snow slimes tend like the snow in them tend to rise to the top and then the slime to the bottom and it makes it totally not sizzly but this one was just like absolutely perfect and it came with red around it and then there was white in the middle along with some like chocolate chips on the top it was just so freaking cute and of course the scent was so accurate um it smelled exactly like cream cheese frosting to me which if you've never had red velvet it always has cream cheese icing on it so i thought that was perfect um i had no snow fallout it didn't stick to my hands and it didn't hurt my hands so definitely a 10 out of 10 and this was probably my favorite slime from the whole package so totally recommend um i also forgot to mention that all of these slimes were 11.50 for an 8 ounce which is super good but of course this one was free because she had a deal going on so totally recommend Overall, this package was absolutely amazing, definitely a 10 out of 10, and I totally recommend you guys checking out her shop. Um, this package did take like two-ish, three-ish weeks um, to arrive to my house, which isn't that big of a deal, it's just a little bit longer than it was last time. Um, but the quality of the slimes definitely made up for it. I'm in love with the super cute add-ins and all the extras that she gave me, so absolutely recommend the shop and that is it for this review if you guys enjoyed please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the bell for notifications on upcoming videos and comment down below a slime shop you guys would like to see me review i love you all so so much and i will see you next time Thank you.